guys, welcome back to Gunshots. Um, I have apparently jinxed the weather by saying that uh, spring has sprung because it's bloody freezing today, but here I am. <laughs> I'm down at Bywell and this week I'm taking a look at the 525 Colt one. Um, an absolutely ubiquitous gun in the UK market, easily the best selling gun in the UK market, um, and in my opinion, for good reason. Um, this is one of sort of two guns that the majority of shooters will be looking at as their um, sort of gateway into shooting sports and um, well, let's go over the technical bits first. So this gun um, is available in various barrel lengths. This one is a 30, um, probably the sort of one that most people will end up opting for. Uh, 30 inch backboard, 18.7 uh, uh, tubes, three inch chambers, uh, Invector Plus chokes, ventilated mid rib, ventilated top rib, which is a, um, got a, a tapered rear section, and then a 10 mil with a uh, tram line and white fore and mid beads. The, Fore end is a schnabel. Um, not a huge fan of schnabels, as you know. I, I tend to hold the gun way out here, and as a result, the sort of sharp bit on the beak of the schnabel actually uh, I find unpleasant. But as a schnabels go, this one's fine. I would have a tendency, if I was mine, to uh, to round that off. Um, checkering is eh, the wood is again. Eh, it's um, it's a grade one gun, so it's got floorboards in it. But that's what you you sort of get at this level. Um, coming back to the action, it is uh, roll engraved with um, quite a pleasant. Uh, floral um, sort of scroll pattern which actually looks really well the general fit and finish metal to wood on this gun is absolutely fantastic and the tolerances and the metal work is brilliant this gun manufactured in Japan at the Miraku factory and their guns are just unburstable in terms of quality um, the lockup on the um, 5C5 series guns is uh, again uh, well documented we've got a full length hinge pin um, stub uh, Protrusions from the bottom of the monoblock that protrude in this trapdoor fashion through the bottom of the action. Uh, a bite that protrudes into these two bifurcated um, cutouts in the bottom of the monoblock that locks it up from the bottom as well. Um, really, really strong, really, really unburstable. These things go forever. Trigger is a single inertia trigger um, with an adjustable blade, uh, safety and barrel selector up top. The uh, stock itself, quite slim, um, as sort of a, a lot of the... Uh, uh, beginner style guns are um, no palm swell at all very very um, straight pistol grip but well shaped and again the checkering is whilst it's not the best checkering in the universe is um, is quite grippy and provides good traction um, the stock itself and the recoil pad are nice and comfy to shoot um, and will fit majority of shooters the gun itself in terms of shooting feels at uh, what is it 7.7 .7 pounds um, it's quite light, very, very handy, good to move about, comes to shoulder well, um, really, really sort of easy to shoot, to be honest. A little bit flat for me in standard form, I have to sort of mount it quite soft, um, but um, other than that, I have no problem shooting one of these, they're, uh, they're quite enjoyable to shoot. A little bit more felt recoil from the old superposed based actions than you get from, um, for instance, a Beretta, but um, if you're a bigger guy, I think that the, uh, this is definitely the one to go for. Um, I do like the 525, I think as a, um, a starter gun at around about RRP, I think at about 1500 quid. You can't go far wrong on one of these. They come cased, um, you get a, a plastic case, you get spare chokes, you get a little tool kit with an auto safety um, uh, kit that you can install. And they're absolutely unburstable quality, these things. Um, you could buy one of these new, um, shoot it for two or three years, and chop it in and get bid sort of seven, eight, nine hundred quid for it. And, to be honest, you could do the same, buy it, shoot it for 30 years, and still get paid sort of seven, eight, nine hundred quid for it. Um, they are just really, really solid guns, and they hold their money really, really well. Um, they're just, they are what they are. I mean, uh, best-selling gun in the, in the UK market. What more can you say? I don't have any massive problems with it. Um, if I'm nitpicking, as I said, I'm not particularly fan of, um, of the schnabel. And if I'm really nitpicking, the, the sharpness of the cut on the... Um, the checkering that's on the top lever, I find a little bit um, uh, rough on your thumb when you're, uh, especially if you're shooting a flush or any game where you're really kind of getting the gun open quickly. Uh, it can be a little bit tough on your, uh, on your office boy thumbs. But other than that, this is an absolutely smashing gun for the money. And as I say, they'll hang on to their money. That said, the same can be true of the, the 686. You don't lose any money on one of those either. Keep it for 10 years, keep it for 50 years. It still works. It's still worth, you know, what it's worth. Um, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the channel. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please do subscribe if you do. Follow me on uh, Instagram, at um, Give me a like. 
um, leave a comment if you have anything to say. Um, and as ever, please do come take a look at the Bible website where this gun and many others like it are on the wall. See you next time, guys.